to where one of the succubi who had a bow with a clearly magical loaded arrow when he came through pulled it back and let the arrow loose and there was the dice roll um so uh yeah okay that's a crit. Uh, tw 20 is a miss right yeah, uh, one is a crit hit right that's how that um, works okay so tolgar first things first Good constitution night. save please con all right all right <clears throat> you have the con. dc right. is 17 so it should be doable DC for you. is 17 okay don't say that you're gonna I'm just saying it should be. I'm telling you the difficulty, so you know. Do okay. you get advantage on those? No, I get advantage of strength and. Something. Oh, not while raged. No. And he's not. Okay. I don't think he's enraged either right now, which might. Suck. I am enraged. You are. You went through the portal, thoroughly pissed off and enraged, still, huh? Okay. Yeah. It was like a weird right. rage. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my oh! god. Oh, my. <laughs> Gort. Gort. That's a one. That's a one. Shit. Hmm. God dang it. Oh, okay. one. Okay, it's fine. That's a dead boy. No, it's That's fine. not good. We're fine. Stop it. My heart hurts. All righty then. Tell me what happens. Okay, Everything so um, and you say you are enraged currently, uh, huh? I am enraged. Well, that's good. Oh, uh, yeah. That's very oh, good. Oh, no. Not for us. Oh. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> oh, so, um... <laughs> oh, my Tolkar. No. See, this is what you get for, okay. for fighting with the devil over... Um, I'm going to say it. I, If you were not enraged, I probably wouldn't even waste my time rolling these dice. Jesus Christ. Um, because with this crit... Remember when Snugs blew the shit out of something? No. <laughs> um, all right. Holy shit. So I'm going to I'm going to do this in stages. So this no. is the damage from the arrow no, itself. No, do it all at once. <laughs> I'm not doing it all at once because it's insane. So um Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool news. Good. I don't know why I can't. Okay, so I can't do it all at once cuz uh, I can't is, count that so high. So 1d8 plus 3 is for the base arrow plus an extra d8 cuz it's a crit. So you take uh 12 right. points of damage from the arrow. So 6. Okay. I'm All right. Writing, I'm However, down. the arrow, the enchantment on the arrow, um, which you will get to half this, is also a dice roll. Um, and it is doubled as well because it is a crit. I guess doubled too. Damn. Everything is doubled. Because it's a crit. 12d10 damage. <gasps> Holy fuck. Uh, oh, 72 because okay. I rolled some bad rolls. So um, no. you take half of that. So it's 36 on top. So it's a grand total of 42, 42 points of damage. Um, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Don't. Uh, as I said, if you weren't uh, if you weren't enraged, <laughs> that wow, would those be very very unpleasant. Shit. Yeah. So um, all right. Okay. So you guys. Uh, so how many hit points are you down to, Tolgar? Just to give me a reference from what to what. Um, I'm at 74 health. So you're shitloads then. Okay. You still <laughs> loads of hit points. Like I'm, um, I had a lot. And all right, so I'm you guys, because you lot. can't hear anything. Remember, it's all slightly, bl slightly blurry looking through the field. You see a glowing streak of red fly from the top of the tower. Uh -huh. um, clearly hits Tolgar, and then there's a massive <laughs> burst of red. Um, that kind of pushes him backwards to the edge of the um, barrier itself. Like he doesn't blast through it, but it like knocks him back into the bar into the barrier. Okay, Tolgar, what do you want to do? All right. Well, where did that that arrow came from? Like way high. Right? Um, it came from the top of the arches that is like a hundred or so feet up in the air. Yeah. And is there somebody? Is this person on the ground? Or are no, they, they are both up in the They're tower. Both. Okay. In the arches. Okay. 
Just knock the whole thing down. Knock the whole thing down. Oh no, my drink! Sorry, Norman's drinking my drink. Um, <laughs> I thought that he was knocking the whole drink down. <laughs> um, I'm going to go run this way. <laughs> okay, so you're going to merge yourself back into the force back field? through. <laughs> okay. Still enraged, knowing that I was able to turn into a weird demon thing, so I'm like, where's that power? So I try to go back in to gain those weird demon powers back. Uh, well, when you kind of go, when you um, when you kind of go back into it, it happens again. I mean, your spine, all the way down your spine, spikes burst out of the back of your skin. Your tail grows. Um, you pop horns out of your forehead. All of that happens. Um, That's so cool. So, if you walk, I mean, once you're back into the field, then that effect does happen. Unfortunately, it only seems to happen while you're in the field, so it's cosmetically great all the time you're in it. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> okay, well, when I step back out, I guess it goes away. Yeah. And, okay, I'm gonna end my rage there and go, oh, I don't think we should go in there. All right, are they, can they, are they coming out? How, how tall is... How tall is the barrier, Gore? Uh, if you told me last week, I forgot. Um, it goes all the way up like a dome. Oh, it covers it. So it I covers see. the entire thing. There's no going over it. Yeah. Uh, can we blast it down? Well, if you remember, I cast um, a little bit of magic on it, and it just repelled it. I, you were giving it a high five. I was thinking more something more damaging. I could try dispelling the whole thing. I don't think that would work, but... Why not? The Their amount arrows of... are powerful, okay? Look at me! And I, I look like pretty bloodied up from the arrow that hit me. <laughs> but did you see what I looked like when I went into the force field? No. You didn't see the hordes and the spines <laughs> come down my my. Once you get a few feet in there, it's difficult to see. It's like fog. Oh. Actually, it looked I'll really cool. I'll tell you what the oh. uh, damage type of that was. Because, um, you know. Seriously, we need a plan. We need to get through there. Can you guys get through there? Uh, Sorry, that's not a told guy voice. Can you get through there? <laughs> that's better. <laughs> Do we Louis Armstrong it a little bit there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Focus. Okay. Um. Well, it's the thought of uh, what Emlyn said. We could try. Uh, short circuiting it with a, an immense amount of power or like i said i do have the magic i could possibly spell it uh, seems to me those might be our only oh wait wait let, let me try something um on various wind branch <laughs> <laughs> just to see yeah um no not this time no <laughs> good idea but no <laughs> for, for the shot. Oh, maybe say poor then's name poor then to wins because all wizards are clearly that predictable, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I don't know yet. <laughs> that, no, that doesn't work uh, Um, what about Valmathir uh, Ishalish? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I'm out of ideas, everyone. <laughs> That's clearly it. <laughs> yep, Theo's tapped. Sorry. I... Oh, we know I can get through. How do we know if you guys can get through or not? Well, none of you, none of them. Remember, the only thing that tried to. Um, yes. somebody tried to touch it and go through it, I believe. But he was undead. He was dead. Or undead. Yeah. Emlyn tried and got zapped backwards. But Thelonious and Kyla didn't try, and they're alive, but not demonic. So the question, the question remains, does it only... How do we make you guys demonic? Demonic. Um, you're muted, Satch. Well, if I was a uh, if I was a wizard, uh, terrible and powerful, making my invincible keep, I don't think I would make a wall specifically this big and this blue, only to deflect particularly undead demons. What does that mean? <laughs> I so... think only demonic can enter, and he means to control from within. He might have a portal or something on the inside that allows him passage if he wants passage. Because but, he's probably not demonic, but you think he's demonic. I am... Out. 
Okay, yes. <laughs> okay. I am confused about why a person who's trying to create and summon and control demons would not also try to ward himself from them, because what if we found a way to turn them on this master? I think he's confident in his control. I'm going to start walking southward. Okay. And I'm, I'm actually curious about what the hell this is. Is this this vines, or is um, it like... It oh. just looks like, like where... Like if you look through the barrier, you can see where the cracks in the paving is, what plants have busted up through and stuff like that. It's mostly just kind of dead plant life. Oh, so it is dead, but yeah. it is some of it's in the barrier, right? Um, sort of. I mean, it's black and shriveled inside the barrier, like a black stain more than anything else. But is it sparking? I mean, what's no, it? Not anymore. Probably been here forever, so. A long time. I mean, the the demon to... that got oh, pushed sorry. into it, the dead demon, the half of it that was inside the thing, is little more now than just gray mush. I have an idea. Uh-oh. What? Well, we all know I can go through. What if there is a way maybe turn me invisible to turn Barry off from the inside somehow? Is there a switch? <laughs> Did you see a switch? <laughs> I saw a tower. Uh huh. And I then I saw an arrow come to my face, and then I scooted out. Scooted. Scoot, scooch. Um, actually, Toga, that's not a bad idea. Although, again, Gore, would I would I know if I cast invisibility on someone? Would that make them magical? Like, did you see what I'm saying? Um. If you detect ma so you mean like if someone casts detect magic, can they I, sense a, an invisible my person? Or well, what? my theory is if if this thing is deflecting magic, if I make Tolgar invisible, does that make him magical? You see, you see what I mean? Would I know that? Be enchanted. Um, he would be. He would have an enchantment on him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can uh, find a way. Somehow, I don't know what would be in there, um, but... <laughs> Tula, come, come with me portal. for a second. Sure. If these are wards, perhaps you see right here where the crack comes up to the lip that is full and not not broken. What? <laughs> right here, I'm going to point. You see where the cracks go into the blue warding, but stop short of the lip of this thing. Uh huh. What if we were to just break it and create a crack? Maybe it would short circuit the warding. So go into the blue gu stuff. No, just start hit hitting it. Hit this so the crack goes from one end to the other. You see what I'm saying? How the cracks go from where there isn't any warding but all the way over to where there. I'm not sure. This barrier would move if just a physical object were to break around it. <laughs> you wouldn't. I suppose uh, I, what I'm trying to say is uh, I have this. I'm going to hold up the ring. You can step in and out of the air, and I think so can. Emlyn, just to say, couldn't we just hop through our little holes into the other side? I'm. You don't think there's some kind of magical ward I, that'll deflect? Yes, I do seem to recall Thelonius tried high fiving it, and it was boxed. So, don't you think the barrier, the dimension door spell, would not oh. work? We're technically not passing through it when we step out of the dimension and back in. I, I believe that is accurate. So if we all VoIP to the other side <laughs> and Tolgar does that thing he does again, we can all get through. My only issue with that is once we're through, at least for me, I'm in for good. Oh. 
we would have to find his portal. Well, the dimension door can allow one of us to take another of us. So Thelonious could consider, can take me and you go. Then right. what? Is there enough to get back out? I still... Mm. I think Thelonious would have another a way of doing it if we rest in the tower once successful. Yes, I also have... Um, I do have a spell. I, I think my Misty Step would, is a teleport spell, which I don't think is passing through something either. Well, you, you bear in mind in 5th edition... Spell text is incredibly important. That's all I'm going to tell you is wording of spells is what really matters. Yeah, because then it just says uh, you teleport. So like Dimension Door says you teleport yourself from your current location to any other spot within range, right? Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily mean you go into another dimension and come back out of that dimension. It's called Dimension Door. I agree, but that is not <laughs> what the description is. That's that's the whole thing with 5e. Is spell description is everything. Okay, but isn't... If we're going to get... So then isn't teleport... Teleporting isn't going from going from one place into another. Correct. It's disappearing and appearing Correct. somewhere else. Okay, perfect. Teleport what I'm saying is don't, don't assume... Just in that case, for example, don't assume right. because the spell is Dimension Door, it has anything to do with going into another dimension. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. So, so, Satch, I think we're still thinking the same thing, essentially. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I'm more pointing out that if you're li with this sort of stuff, right, you really might want to make sure you understand the spell that you cast from a mechanical standpoint to make sure that you don't see any loopholes or any flaws in your part in your your plan especially if it means you may be stuck on the other side yeah, How... I, I have a way to get in and out myself if that is an issue right but dimension i guess do we even know that this is just a word for everything but demons that are alive what if it's a word for anything magical as well Hmm. Well, Tolgar, do you still have your sword? Yeah. Uh, and my just, sword out. Like, this just one? because it only just happened, does everybody remember what the horned woman did? Was yeah, doing she cast when you... wards all along this gray space. She also put her hand behind her back when she went out the thing, but only Kylo knows that. Doesn't know okay, what I just wanted to make sure you do re you remembered that that was a thing. Yeah, but yeah, all basically, this, all this is warded, right? she went With... around on the inside of the circle, dropping magical wards everywhere. Yeah. Okay. I didn't want you to. Uh, oh, I didn't want a week of game time to mean that wasn't in your head, and then when you all appear, if anything bad should happen. We blow up. <laughs> you uh, remember. You, you know. In other words, you you are. Full, I want to make sure that you are fully aware of remembering the circumstances. Well, with Dimension Door, we could conceivably go to those steps, right? We could see them; they're blurry within range. Well, not mm -hmm. me. I'd be just walking through. Tolgar, how far was the tower from when you walked in? It's kind of hard to tell from out here. Still looked pretty far. <laughs> I don't know, this map is pretty weird on its dimensions, so... Yeah, just go know, by the measurements, feet. not the sizes. <laughs> About 100 feet, okay. Mm -hmm. you could get just to the inside, then. Yeah, okay. What would, I, what would I do? Just run through the traps and hope I don't die? Well, if you both dimension door, you could both take both of us as... A That's willing true. person. Yeah. Good thing Lilith isn't with us anymore. <laughs> Thelonious, how far can you go? I'm you? not very far. 30 feet. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and the dimension door goes much farther. And how far exactly does that one go? I don't know if I've used it to its full ability yet. Well, within 100 feet. I mean, that's 
not even a, a quarter of what it could do. If it would okay. work. So we dimension door in and then we just storm the castle. Up in the tower. Well, there's not, isn't there no door at the top of that tower? Well, the steps I mean, go the to the base of the tower, but there is no visible doorway or anything like that. There's no visible entry to the tower other than through the arches at the very top. Hmm. Which is 100 feet up. Do you think we can just bore them until they die? <laughs> if, the, if these woods are full of demons, he'll just send wave after wave against us. How, how do you suppose he's filling the woods with demons from within the tower? Demon portal. <laughs> Obviously. Or there's an actual <laughs> portal like the other wizard that he could funnel them out through. That's what I said. <laughs> that is what you said. That's exactly what Tolgar or said. Demon portal. portal. <laughs> or let me say the exact same like thing in a slightly movie. different way. Hey, shut up. <laughs> there's a portal. Demon portal was sounded. Yeah, I think stupid. maybe there's a portal. <laughs> so if there's a demon portal, it might work two way like the other one, and we might as well guess what the password would be to get back in. <laughs> uh, this is kind of far-fetched and it would be a lot of searching but frankly I don't know if I see a way up the tower well what if you were to um, track where those demons came from thought of a point of origin oh you what what time of day is it um it is it's tracking time of day it's very very <laughs> late at night in the early wee hours of the morning Okay. Because if you remember, you came back, you, you came, you went to find the sacrificial place. It took you ages to find it. It was beginning to get dark. Mm -hmm. You killed the other demon thing, the four-legged centauri type demon. Um, traipsed your way here. But then you turned around and went all the way back. And you feasted on the flesh of the innocent. Mm -hmm. uh, and that. then you came back that again. Remembers. So it is, you know, probably like... Midnight or one or two a.m. in the not? morning. I thought we ish. rested. We had a very brief rest, not anything serious. Okay. Uh, yeah, you didn't rest because, if you remember, the discussion went. But if we rest, that'll give them time to oh, right, bolster right, right, their defenses right. and all that stuff. Screw it. Let's go back to the tower. What? So searching the forest in the dead of night when we know there's demons in these woods is probably not the best idea. Probably not. And leaving here might give them the time they would need to fortify more and uh, summon more demons, but... Yeah, already, the time that you left and came back allowed the horned woman to war, to drop wards all around inside mm -hmm. the um, destroy this proverbial woman. circle with <laughs> almost like some kind of... Um, Mind, magical minefield. All I can think to do is antagonize them in some way. Do something that would irritate them. You know how I like to do that. Oh, can you send them a letter? <laughs> I could, maybe. We still have a copy of that other one. <laughs> Dear Wizard Poopy Pants. <laughs> this is Lana. <laughs> um. I mean, it seems to be the only... All right is to dimension door us all to those steps. Or we could try to trace the demon. See where they're coming from. You don't seem into that idea. Because <laughs> that keeps of going side. back into the woods in yeah. the dead of night where there's demons in the woods. Okay, let's go then. Let's go into the tower. Take a very uneasy rest outside of the tower in the pale glow, as it were. I'm just telling you, um... I'm going in there, uh, half a man. <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm hurting, but it's all right. I'll do oh, it. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else could have taken 84 points of damage and lived? No. Nope. <laughs> That's like twice my max HP. <laughs> oh, my God. 
horrifying. Like if I get hit, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what this amounts to. Oh, jeez. This is so, gonna be so bad. So, uh, Kylo, you use your ring and take me, and Thelonious, you use Dimension Door and take Tolgar. And we what? go to the steps. You know I don't have Dimension Door, right? No, I actually didn't shit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I could. I thought it was I a mistake. you did. <laughs> I thought it was a mistake before, but no. Which is why I said I had missed you step, and that's about it. I oh, thought. Don't shit. you have Dimension Door? I thought you did. Okay, Kyla, you take Tolgar. I'll take the Lodius with. Oh, me. you have Dimension yes. Door. So I thought what that's the heck? what you. Meant. Yeah. What? <laughs> I, I didn't want to use my spell slot because I don't. Oh, oh, okay. I only have two, and that would be one. Well, yeah. sacrifice for the team. Yeah, Does right. Tolgar? Watch, watch it's not Sacrifice work. for the team. Well, the thing is, <laughs> Tolgar doesn't need me to do it. Tolgar but there's also it. the spells all around. If I want to avoid the, the uh, courtyard. Well, we all want to avoid the courtyard, but I don't know if we can. If you take Tolgar with your ring, and I take Thelonious with my spells, that's four of us, we could all go to the steps. Oh, so uh, cutting through the wall, then cutting to the steps. We use Dimension Door to go to those steps that we can see, blurry as they are. And pray they're not warded. Can it reach that? Yes. It's Dimension Door. It can. I don't know Dimension Door's got a range of 500, 500 I think. feet, yeah. yes. I just have a ring and I twist yeah. it. How would he know? It goes 500 feet. <laughs> Why don't we just point to the top of the tower? Can we? How tall is the tower? Another 120 feet? Uh, about a hundred or so feet, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, we technically could, but we can't see the in- the interior of the top of the tower, right? Oh, absolutely not. And you know, you do but know we that saw there the guy is, standing So what you've there. seen thus far up there are her, two or three of these winged female right. demons, and him. So you, you know <laughs> right that into the thick of it. you know that is up there somewhere. All of that, whether it's all at the top, whether it's all inside the tower, you've got no way of knowing. You also don't know if inside the tower it is rife with demons and other bad things. So yeah, that's true too. So it, it is really a. Uh, I mean, theoretically, we could teleport to a point just above where we assume there will be a landing or a ledge inside the top of the tower, obviously we could be very wrong, and <laughs> but... Still favor those odds, that they have a floor over <laughs> us getting through whatever they just put down. Yeah. Let's surprise them. <laughs> it's a jump re- in the middle of it and go, go so, to town. <laughs> so we don't even know if the dimension door will work. We don't know what's up there. We don't know if there's a thing up there or a bunch of people on like a circle saying, hey, what's up? We're going to kill you now. What could possibly go wrong with this? Well, I don't think they expect us to do it. We'd at least have that. I I would like to think that poor Dent DeWitt would have a forethought about that spell. I mean, it's just... (sighs) Well, nothing's actually threatened him up till now. He's never had to deal with us. So, poor Than. Come out. Poor Than, I'm here to kill you. Yeah, come out and play. Shut down right there. Well, what if we... <sighs> hold hands, Thelonious makes us invisible. Oh, and then we come by us. Well. Why? <laughs> so then we arrive up there invisible at the very least. So you want everyone to be invisible? When we arrive on top of the most likely kill us. Can I can I mention one thing? Sure. Absolutely cannot do that. <laughs> what do you say we go back to town <laughs> all, <laughs> up and come back? <laughs> <laughs> just, let's just fight some low level creatures from a while and level up. <laughs> Let's go and start killing bears in the forest. They're worth an experience point each at our level, and eventually we kill, uh, let's oh, see. Man. That'd be awesome. 48,000 um. bears will all have a level. Let's get going, guys. <laughs> Why can't you make us all invisible together? What do you I, Because I can't do that. You've done it before. Yeah. Everyone? 
No, 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 no. Yeah, you just hold hands and you cast it once. And at a I, higher level. I don't think that is, that works. I, it does, maybe. Does that I work? Thought you've done as it as long as I'm holding hands with someone, they can turn invisible as many people as I want. No, it's we have a you have an amount you can do. At a higher level, it gets more and more people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, have invisibility. That's why I know this. So I can do it one more time. I can do it at one higher level, which makes one more person. So that's three. That's two people total. Well, obviously, give it to me and Kyla because we're the most important. <laughs> but, 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 but you are saying everyone. I can do two people. Me and Kyla. Right. So not everyone. Fine. <laughs> no, no, it's not. A, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Not a, out. It's hard to figure out the difference between three and four. <laughs> and it's not three, it's two! <laughs> That's it! Wait, so yourself not included, you're saying? Yes, myself not included is two. Myself included is still two. It's just two. No matter whichever way you slay it. Alright. Are we gonna do this dimension door to the top of the tower like idiots plan? Yeah. <laughs> gonna fail on any level this is gonna fail i just feel it but what other option do we really have well we could set up the bodies of the remaining demons on stakes and pose them like they're us and wait for them to get tired and then do this <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> okay hold on i'm thinking, what? I'm <laughs> what thinking of a movie <laughs> a movie yeah um <laughs> totally yeah. Yeah. Do me just a, a quick favor. Pick up, as, pick up as many of the dead bodies as you can and throw them all at the shield at once. What did you say? Pick up all of the dead bodies that you can. Right. And throw them at the shield at once. <laughs> I'll grab the lower torso over here. All right. I want to see if, if we could actually short circuit this. I'm going to start picking up the bodies, stacking them on top of each other, and with my brute strength, oh, see how cheer, many buddy. I can hold at once. Um, just to be clear, Back if up. this work, we should all scatter, they will kill us. Uh, Back up. Okay. All right. Everybody. Yeah, you know that these are like huge squares, so you probably have to get closer, don't go <laughs> Yeah, so... I'm I mean, gonna... you're throwing 50 feet right now. Oh. <laughs> Man, these squares are too big. <laughs> Okay, um, so everyone's backed up. Yep, I was gonna help throw them, but oh, okay. So we'll pick. There's f one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Of them. All the demons just looking at us above. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're all so coming. I... They're all like gathering to watch what it is that you folks are doing. Yep. So I pick up as many as possible. And so is Kyla, right? Uh, you can probably <laughs> pick up like two of the demons on your shoulders with your muscles. Yeah. So I'll pick Kyla those can up. probably drag one over there by by the claws of the feet. Like Sixteen score. It's pretty strong. <laughs> yep. Pretty good. Seven save. And on on three, we're gonna hurl these, and then run backwards. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, a one, and go. <laughs> All right. <okay. laughs> and then we so you, the you basically backwards. heave two of them in. Kyla swings one in from the side, and then you hurl yourselves backwards as quick as possible. All right. So there is a huge, big. <laughs> as all this blue crackly energy gums up and a disgusting smell begins to launch itself into the air as burning decaying demon flesh can be smelt um as literally like uh, you know they're kind of not in the portal they're like against the portal and just continually taking like damage from this ele from this kind of magical electrical field mm -hmm. um over a period of time, slowly they will cook to nothingness. Um, the parts that are touching. And is the portal diminished at all, or no? Does not it appear to be diminished in any way, shape, or form, no. 
<laughs> I think I saw that on the Hunger Games. I think yeah. kind of like that. And now you mention it, oh. it's kind of sort of like that. Yeah, not not right? too far off. A little girl's like, I like that idea. You still failed though. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I I want to. Maybe he just it... needs this extra one to be thrown on there. Maybe that was it. You just missing <laughs> yeah, one demon. No. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my knife to uh, pop the head off of the one here and stick it on the end of an arrow and just out of spite shoot it to the top of the thing. Okay. <laughs> so it's just sitting up in there flickering. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so it goes. <laughs> as it bounces and rolls all the way down and then flops a charred ball on the other side or this side of the. Uh, does the arrow portal. get stopped too? Sorry? Does the arrow itself get stopped too, or just the head that the arrow's no, attached to? All of it. Yeah, the arrow certainly doesn't get through. Can I hear muted applause from the other side? (laughs) 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 Hmm. Well, we could surprise them with our dimension door idea. I think it's the last option we've got. (laughs) I mean, we'd honestly appear right at them. Um... I don't know if they resist it, but I still have this. I'm going to pull out the little hand crossbow that was not a hand crossbow for its original use. Um, mm. That stuff that knocked out Tolkar that one time and sent us all running. For some reason, I doubt it. Okay. But, um, is it worth a shot? Is it? Worth a shot to shoot it? Well, no, I mean once we're on the inside. Yeah. I don't think this dimension door will work, personally, but yes, it's worth a shot to do. In the in the bizarre occasion, we actually happen to make it work, and we get up there. I should try it, is what you're saying. Is, is what you're saying. Well, obviously dip some arrows in blood. Right. Because we're going to be fighting what looks to be four plus a powerful wizard. <laughs> oh, God. That you know of. <laughs> that we know of. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Bad. <sighs> um, Thelonious, really quick. Mm-hmm. What is your opinion of the, the ladies at the top of the tower? Well, they're... Uh, well, they're demonic, absolutely, but um, something alluring about them. Can't quite put my finger on it though I'd like to. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it's just a joke. Um, they're disgusting creatures, but I do f- some, for some reason find them very attractive. Yeah. And they've so um, you know, as I said before, like you felt two of them in your head. Right. Yeah. Um, and Which is why I'm like, much, I hate them, but I love them. Yeah, um, but but pretty much initially they just tried to charm him and get him to do some things, which was give them the book, which they successfully got. Mm-hmm. Um, but they haven't actually really done anything else until now. When they say, that's an excellent plan. Do it. <gasps> So are we going to do the Dimension Door thing or what? <laughs> I'm waiting on... Uh, about that time, Thelonious, that you notice that they've all ducked back inside the tower. Okay. Uh, none of them are visible to anybody anymore. Uh, I thought they were watching us. Maybe they know of our plan and they're afraid. Like maybe they thought, oh, they figured it out and they scurried away. How about we do the plan, but we do it around the tower? I I think doing it up to the top, it might be better. Quicker from what they're pointed to be. I do too. Straightest um, straight line is the quickest. But that would still be the plan. It would just do it another angle, like from the north or the south. Oh, right. So it's not coming from the same side, or we could just port to the side <laughs> if you want to go to. Uh, do you guys remember what the tower looks like from the uh, 
Let me pull it up so, for you again. Just to give you a good... I mean, there image. are archways that enter, right? I mean... Yeah, so there is... Um, hang on. Yeah, I've got it in there. So there's the tower itself. So it's like the very, very top, there's archways all the way around it that lead into clearly a top opening. And then you can see lower than that are some other kind of um, windows where there's like a, an amber glow coming out of those windows. Which you cannot see the amber glow coming through the top. Uh, okay. And the the demons that disappeared were at the very top, right? Where there's no amber glow. Yes. Just like yep. like the nest, I guess you can call it, right? Okay. Yeah. Should we go towards the amber glow? Well, <laughs> we saw the silhouette of Porth and Wind in the amber glow, right? No, no. At the top well, of the tower the, at, at the one top. point. The you very top of one. You saw him show up with his staff waved his staff and turned it upside down almost like a gladiatorial thumbs down and then out of the woods came demons. Okay. Shit. That'd be so bad. Alright, well... I'm already dead, so I don't care. Where are we going? <laughs> what do you think the... What is the amber glow? I'm going to turn and look at the Thelonious on that one. Um, could possibly be a light source of something? Can I can I tell Gore from the uh, torch? Yeah, if she's asking me. Uh, give me a. Let me see. Give me a. Uh, really, it's not going to be that. Hang on. Animal um, handling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because that's that's how I tell about. <laughs> glowing things so all the time. Stupid. Um I'm gonna um, this would probably come under um a investigation role. Okay. Oops, that's there we go. Seventeen. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um well it's hard to, first of all it's difficult to tell in the dark. What color the glass is? If the glass is stained, it may not be an amber glow at all. If the glass is stained in any way, it could be a ordinary glow, just from a fireplace or something like that. Um, it is a flickering glow, so you believe that there is some kind of naked flame in there. Um, but you don't feel like... Without knowing what the color of the glass is and all that sort of stuff, it would it's very difficult to kind of ascertain whether it's anything natural. If the glass if you could rule out the glass, maybe you could rely on your arcane knowledge to know a bit more. But like you 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 know, you're knowledgeable enough to know that that variable could very easily mislead you. Um Tolga, short version, I don't know. And I can't be sure. So I don't want to I'd rather give you no information than false. This is information. why we brought you along. I'm and I'm the I will, whole time. Do you want me to make something up? Yes. It's a <laughs> dragon getting ready to breathe fire as soon as we go in there. Okay, <laughs> that? we should go to the top then. He's like <gasps> which is a little ball of flame starting. Can you hurry up and come in? Because I've been mm -hmm. holding my breath now for twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy? <laughs> All right, let's just get this over with. Right, we need so to kill him. Garden. Go for Porthan. <laughs> what? It sounds like how his radio station would start. Go for Porthan. <laughs> telegram for Mongo. Telegram for Mongo. Go for Porthan. Go for Porthan. What? What seems to be the problem today? This is Porthan in the morning. Go for Porthan. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab Tolgar's wrist and I'm going to look to Kyla and be like, where exactly are we intending to go? I think we were going to the top, yes. Like the very top. top. Yes. Yes. The top. 
Here we As go. in, you mean in through the archways or to the roof of the tower? No, no, the archways okay. at the top. Yeah, we're not going to be on the very top. That would be <laughs> Spider-Man style. <laughs> oh. I'm going to take my sword out. And, um, Shit. It's probably the one place they didn't ward, though. That's probably exactly where they're all lying in wait to push us when we get to the very top. Yeah. No. Right before you dimension door, like right before you cast a spell, I will rage. So just letting you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking Thelonious. I thought it was taking Toga. Let's go. Who cares? <laughs> all right. Um, Gore, that's what we're all doing? All right, so um, break it down for me then. Who's doing exactly what and how? And show me where you think you're... I mean, obviously, you can only teleport to where you can see, so anywhere around, you know, these front arches would be viable at the top, if that's where you're going. Yeah. Right. If, if we can see a little bit in to those arches, we would go a little bit in, so we'd Yeah, land. I mean, you won't be literally... So close edge. to the edge that you'll fall off, um, but you can only go, you know, a little way in. That's so. So I'm going stupidly. No, not stupidly. I'm going to the archway at the very top, the topmost, the f the furthest, uh, the furthest northish, the archway that I the see. The furthest one that you can see. Yes. Okay. All right. And I'm going to tell Kyle. So you, I'm telling you're Kyle wanting that's where to I'm going. appear about here. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put you there for markers right now. You're not actually there, but just so that we all know what you're trying to do. Okay. And you're dimensioning door with Tolgar. Unless Kyla wants him, I'll take the, I'll take the Thelonious. I don't care. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to, so we could take the rear and surprise him. Okay, so <laughs> you two are going to appear here then. Yes. <laughs> okay. So then, what I'm doing is I'm going to fake that I'm fussing with the ring and it's not working for a minute so that after they go in case they explode in the wall <laughs> die on impact or whatever happens as soon as they get through we right. can just okay and oh, where are you person. wanting to teleport into where, where are you <laughs> wanting to dimension door to um I was going to actually think about taking Tolgar further south and maybe get just a glimpse into about that area okay so you're going to kind of run all the way down to here so that you can see in <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. appear kind of here. Is that the game plan? Yeah, like there. Try and get a little bit of a flank. <sighs> as long as they didn't explode it on the wall and die. Right. And there was no. How long are you waiting? Um, probably thirty seconds. Okay. Ooh. All right. Really? No. <laughs> I would say no. Take me there now. At which point well, I was six seconds. So, so thirty, 30 seconds. seconds. <laughs> Remember, well, but six I mean, what I'm saying is, this hasn't happened yet, right? Well, no, 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 no. So, you, I mean, if you're going to say that, you need to react when it happens, not ahead of when it happens. So, so is this your game plan? Is this what you guys want to do? Four seconds. I'm going for four like seconds. Yeah. Four seconds. Because I counted to four in my head, and that seemed right. Okay, so basically, <laughs> you're going to wait four seconds and then cast your spell. So they're going to basically be there one round ahead of you, then. Realistically. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Theo, love you, buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what Kyla does is what makes sense here, because then we can, like... Because they all turn, like, at them, then we yeah, go that's in. Right. Two, and they'll be like, oh, that's interesting. This is why I wanted to take Tolgar. This is why I wanted to take Tolgar. <laughs> but I'm I half have a man, him first. guys. I'm half a man. But I have him first, and we can withstand a round. That's kind of what I was shooting for. <laughs> Well, I wanted to take Tolgar, but okay. Let's... But I want to marry Tolgar, and if Tolgar's dead... Ah, <laughs> uh, cute. Yeah. It's more for the stability. <laughs> Sturdiness, rather. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> this is your game plan. I, I don't I don't like the way you said Sorry. that, but... Well, no, no, <laughs> I... I guess so. Yes, I need, it's our game I plan. Mean, if, if, if this is Let's what you do guys this. are doing, I, I yes. need to know specifically. No more flippity floppities. Yep, that's what we're doing. All we're right. doing it. Okay then. Um, so you guys appear. Um, Yay! Shink. What could possibly go wrong? Two, three. Four. Let me move everything in place. 
This is what you guys will see. Uh, All right. Um. So there is no surprise because they know everything that Thelonious knows. So thanks, Thelonious. It's not, <laughs> it's not his fault. <laughs> Okay. What am I um, supposed to do? <laughs> so, um, basically, yeah. You guys, Dimension Door. Well, the first thing is, it works, which is almost surprising. As huh. you arrive, you can see um, an, a glowing red arrow trained, like, initially just arcing backwards and forwards, like, because they don't know exactly where you're going to appear. Um, but they knew what you were going to do, and they know roughly where you're going to appear. Um, there are two others that are kind of just slightly, probably about a foot off the ground with their wings hovering, ready. Um, one of them has a long, what looks like a cat of nine tails uh, with serrated um, like serrated sides to it. Um, the other one, which is this one, I believe, has more of the, what looks like Sort of a twisted clopesh, like a very big bladed, ang what angular sort of axe um, that looks like it's more for. It's almost like an axe, but the blade is facing the wrong way, and it looks almost more like a hand scythe. And your girl is basically standing there with her hands aglow. Um, okay. You appear. Um, first round of combat. Tolgar and what's her name? Um, Kylo will be here the second round of combat. So you guys can roll your initiatives. Okay. No coming. Oh, I gotta click on my guy. Emlyn with a 12. Uh, I'm a coming. Theo with a 9. Uh, 11. 11. Uh, oh, 11 total, okay. Yeah. Alrighty, so I'm going to roll for the three winged girlies together. <laughs> God. <laughs> Alright. And then I'm going to roll for her separately. Where I really feel awful about playing murderous coward. Not the murdering or the cowering, just the part where everybody else dies. Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let me rewrite that lower because I'm gonna. I'm sure some of you are gonna have better than that if when you die. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. She has initiative. So when you appear, all there is up there is basically black rock and what looks like a spiral staircase in the center going down. So it's okay. almost just like an open, like a giant gazebo at the top. So, and you can see the stairwell in the middle. Um, she has initiative. Alrighty. Uh, very first thing she is going to do um, seeing as she has it already prepped. <laughs> and fireballs, you guys, right where you, uh, right oh, as you come shit. in. Can I counterspell that? You, or no? um, let's see. I believe you can <laughs> attempt to counterspell it. Please do. Because that's um, what I'm doing. Yeah, hold on. Oh, God. Let me throw it up there. Yep, one second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You so who cast the dimension door? I did. Um, then yes, you can. Okay, counter spell. Uh, I mean, you could. All right. So basically, uh, if the creature is casting a spell of third level or lower, its spell fails and has no effect. If it's casting a spell of fourth level or higher, make an ability check. Gives you a spell casting. The DC is ten plus the spell's level. Okay, she is casting this as a level five fireball. Of course she is. So <laughs> it would be a fifteen DC. What do I roll? I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so um, inspiration uh, using your spell casting ability. So you're using intelligence. Okay. 
So you basically intelligence roll, which is whatever, you've got your pluses on that. You need 15 or higher. If you succeed, you will nullify her spell and it will not work. If you fail, you eat a fireball. So it's just d20 plus three, essentially, then? Um, what, if that's what your spellcasting ability is, then yes. Yeah, my intelligence is a, is a three modifier. Yep. Do I have inspiration? You do. You do. I'm using it. You may have advantage on this dice roll, then. Oh. Uh, right. me, let, me, let me get rid of your inspiration point beforehand. That's fine. <laughs> um, All right. You let me know when, when it's ready, because I'm, I'm ready to roll here. Uh, let's see. Your player won. Okay. Um, oh. whew, here we go. Um, ready? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, this is the first one. Yes! Oh! Oh! Okay. Can I just say, every so time she... I use an inspiration, I've never had to. Um, hey, doesn't matter. <laughs> she hurls the fireball, Thurnus Gunch! And um, you're able to, as it hurls through the air, your magic meets it in the middle, and just absorbs it, and it disappears. Um, okay. <laughs> Emlyn, you are next up on the initiative order. What do you want okay. to do? So, there's... Queen B, Queen Bitch, who has the fireball that failed, right? Uh, yes. There are two succubuses that have magical arrows notched and pointless. Only one. Only one. The other, one has a barbed whip, one has that strange looking hand scythe, and there's the one with the glowing red arrow. And it is another glowing red arrow. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna burn through my shit so fast. So knowing what it, I mean, you got all you know is that was what hit Tolgar, and Tolgar said it wasn't fun. Okay, so I'm going to do telekinesis on the object. The object being the bow and arrow. Okay. I want to fling it towards. I, I don't know where. I didn't. I was expecting Kyle and Tolgar to be the same round, honestly. But since they're not, it'll be towards myself. So I'm going to cast Telekinesis. All right. Okay. So um, DC is 17 strength. You gain the ability to move or manipulate creatures or objects when you cast a spell and as your action each round for the duration, you can, because uh, this is a um, concentration. Um, any it's, object it's you see in range, you can attack the same target round of a creature you may not see. Uh, subsequent rounds of objects. Okay. So you can try to move an object that weighs up to 1,000 pounds. If the object isn't being worn or carried, you automatically move it up to 30 feet. If the object is worn or carried by a creature, you must make an ability check with your spell casting ability contested by their strength check. Yes. So it is your strength versus Oh my uh, so your casting. um your 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 spell casting versus their strength. And give me just a second to pop my stats up. <sighs> Get that on our side. Yeah. Right, hold on. Here we are. It's going to be a hard save. So. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. D and D is a game of hope for me. <laughs> General hope. DMing is a game of generally not allowing for it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are doing just fine right now, considering. Uh, all right. Um, so make your spell cast check. It's a pose check. So it's your your roll versus her roll. So do I just do a char charisma saving throw or yep. just... Uh, no, charisma ability check. So it's not a saving throw because it's... Okay, so proficiency is not added into that, is it? It's just 1d20 plus 5, which is its charisma? I believe so, yes. Okay, that's fine with me. Because it's the same for them. Oh, oh yes. yes! That arrow twenty. Yes. Okay. yes. That's so good. <laughs> uh, throw those twenties up in chat. I literally just go like this, and I'm we like, "You need that right now." <laughs> Give me the bow. My bow and arrow. <laughs> Man. Awesome. All Woo. right, and. Just in case she also rolls a 20. All right. So, yep. You cast the telekinesis, snatching that bow and arrow right out of her hand. Um, 
Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about semantics. Technically, it's an object, and that's two. But we're gonna say that's fine. Um, well, it's together. It's, it's already not. Well, yeah, but <laughs> again, just saying, it is technically two objects. Um, but okay. we're not gonna worry about that. Um, so you're gonna snatch the bow, yank, it, and you want to pull it towards you, so it comes flying in your direction. Thirty feet. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. So, the bow will absolutely come flying towards you. The arrow is firing. Because it's already knocked. So, when that bow gets snatched out of her hand, it is going to go. But oh, obviously, okay. it will not be aimed at anything. Okay, that's fair um, So, I'm going to roll basically a random direction to see where it pings. Um, and if you roll a particular number, it'll hit one of them and deal damage, right? Uh, well, I'm going to roll direction first. <laughs> um, one being... I just, so. I, just, I got you. So basically, we'll use the spokes, with one being the northernmost spoke. And uh, we'll just follow them round clockwise. So it is going to go basically this direction. Ooh, that's so good. what literally happens is, as soon as you snatch it, the bow arches up. The arrow kind of flies in the air, hits the ceiling, and ricochets out the arch window over here. Disappearing somewhere into the courtyard. Oh, the bow yeah. comes flying across to you. Okay. Okay, um, Thelonious. So you used, um, so <clears throat> Counterspell uh -huh. um, is a reaction. Right. Um, so technically, you still have an action. Right. Right. And I'm going to use that action to also, well, I don't know. Well, you don't forget, the, you can only cast one spell and one cantrip in a turn, in a round period, right? Oh, I can only cast the cantrip right now? Um, I believe... Let me check. Not because it's a new round, isn't it? Cause... No, it's the same round. Because that would... Uh, this is all in the same round. That would change it. literally everything. Because, um, like, top of the initiative, they went first, right? She but... went. The succubi have not gone yet. She okay. went... He counterspelled it. Emily yeah, went. but but I, I mean, I dimension doored and then got to cast telekinesis, so I think it is full new round, right? You let me know. Well, no, but it, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You you cast telekinesis and appeared there, right? Right. Then a then new round started. started. Yeah. So it's, she it's cast. He countered. Right. You cast. Now it's his turn. So he counterspelled in this round, but as a reaction. Does counterspell count as a reaction or an action? Counterspell no, is a reaction. So it doesn't count as a spell action. So that's what I'm thinking. I don't... Um, that's what I want to double check. Give me a second. Come on. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure. Spell. I am honestly not sure with that being um, with in five e. So let me look. <sighs> Let's see. Sass thinks he should still get an action. Oh, she does get. He does get an action. That's not a question. Um, the question is, basically, you can only cast one spell and one cantrip in your turn. Does this count as the one spell is the point? Gotcha. Um, that's what I'm trying to check. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Gets a reaction. Hey, Cornelius the Wizard is casting Fireball on his turn, and his foe casts Counterspell on him. Cornelius has Counterspell prepared, so he uses his reaction to cast it and break his foe's Counterspell I'm before he starts Fireball. Uh, let's see. I don't understand. Yeah, like, the reaction was before his turn. He hadn't acted up till then. No, that's right. Hang on. Because he had not gotten... He was not up on the initiative yet. He, his reaction is on her turn. Yeah. 
So in that case, yes, you do still you still can cast a spell and a cantrip technically. Okay. Yes. I just had to think it through. Okay, no, I just wanted to make sure we did it right. Um, okay, then in that case, I too have Fireball level 5. Yep. And I too will be casting it. Okay. Yay! And uh, as a reaction, she too will try to counterspell it. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, I figured. Yep. <laughs> um, hey, this is how spellcaster fights should go. Nope, no problem. That's I it. expected um, it. Alrighty, so um, yours is a level 5? Correct. So she also needs a DC 15. Oh! Okay. I believe. I believe. I, I believe you've got. I, I believe you've. The, the luck is in your favor, so I think you're going to get away with it. Oops. I hope. See? You are! You're going to get away with it! It's on your side. Luck is on your side for this one. All right. Um, so you do get to drop your fireball. Where are you dropping it? Did I say level five? I'm at level 12, is what I meant. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop it right on this succubus, because I think I can get the three of them here if I drop it right. Uh, like, well, right remember, the range is, is very large oh. on the square. Uh, okay. Remember, the icons are bigger than they actually are, so that you can see them. Okay, is there any place I can drop it to hit two of them? Well, we're about to find out. Okay. Um... Uh, I think you're okay. I think if you aim at the, I think if you dump it between, if you dump it right here, I can't get the two sucky babies. Like if I if I dropped it right in the middle, <laughs> like you want to drop it here, like yeah, between want, the two, yeah, yeah. I want to okay. get those little sucky babies. Yeah, you probably can. You can probably hit both of them. That's what I'm doing. That's where it's going. All righty. Okay. Let me find that sweet little fireball. Oh, why did that happen? So then I gotta add two d sixes. After all, I'll cast it so it can populate it. Alrighty. Yep. And then Ooh. add two d sixes. So it'll be twenty two plus two d six, and then they have to save for half. Ooh. All right, so it'll do twenty six damage. <laughs> okay. Um, they need a fifteen dex save. Um. Dex being. All right. First one. Uh -huh. Second one. Oh. Okay. Uh. So one saves and the other does not. Um, so the one. Well, I was rolling from the top down. So the one that had the bow, she doesn't save. So she will take 26 points of damage. The other one will take 13 points of damage. Alrighty. So there's a huge explosion, fire going everywhere. Um, and it is the succubi's turn. Okay. Um, one of them now bowless. Um, so here's where the fun begins. They're all charging straight towards Emlyn. Son of a bitch. And then they tell you Push him off. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I, so I have to do it, right? Oh, well, you can't do it now because you have no actions to do it with. Oh, okay. He... But they're basically <laughs> telling you. Um, okay, Thelonious is a weak man. So I don't get to save against this ever? Yes, you do. At the end of the time. But that's what I mean. Like, so until 24 hours, there's there's nothing I can you do. You are. It's, was it 24 hours? I don't um, know. It was. That was more than that. No, it's not more than that. It's less than anything. three days. Yeah, eight years. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> One save, uh, you're gone. Let's see. Where is it? And if you fail that save, it's uh, a permanent effect. Oh, I'll tell you. Uh, okay, so here it is. That's <laughs> bullshit. But we're friends. That's Basically, yeah, 24 hours. So you. So the only time you get to save, um, you compete. Uh, basically, if if they hurt you, um, okay. or they give you a suicidal command, like kill yourself, then you may save again. I'd like to argue that killing Emlyn in a case where we're already <laughs> suicidal. Yeah. Um, but it isn't though, is it? I mean, yeah, it's kind of, yeah. I mean, it, it's, but it isn't. 
It's not suicidal. It's not killing him. They currently offer him. They're they they are opposing him. Zero threat. They are not attacking him. She did. Until you think about it, and hitting and killing Emlyn is suicidal because they're going to go downstairs and die without Emlyn's help. Thus, it being suicidal. Booyah. Logic. No. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Oh, <laughs> it's it's oh, not oh, that involved. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, shucks. Okay. Okay. Um, no, they yeah. definitely do not like Emlyn being here. Um, there is... Just Emlyn dude, being here is a major problem. I'm just a dude. Was that a, I'm just a girl remix? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Emlyn. So one of them has little more than claws to try to tap you with. Um, so that is... Ooh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so the one, the one with claws is not going to do that. The one with claws is going to do something else, and I'm going to do her last. Um, so the first one with the nasty little scythe thing. Yes, I am scythe. using my entropic ward for, for right. that scythe person. Okay, um, so basically, um, learn to magically ward yourself against attack and to turn an enemy's failed strike into good luck for yourself. When a creature makes an attack roll against you... You can use a reaction to oppose disadvantage on that roll. Okay. So this roll is with disadvantage then. And this is the one like Thelonious that's going to be have missed anyway, knowing my luck. <laughs> <coughs> oh, come now. Maybe not. All right, plus five. Plus okay. Five. So this is going to be... Slash R. 2D. 20. Think that's right? Nope. Oh, I have to do the space. And they both sucked. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. A two and a one. Yep. Wow, yikes. <coughs> what are the odds? Okay. That's um so well clear. so she swipes at you and misses. Okay, the one with the whip. You wanna? You got anything you wanna do with that one? No, Ooh, I do. Uh, I gotta oh. go. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I'll take the whipping. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a whipping. Uh, that yeah, will hit. Of yeah. course. That uh, will hit. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. It's only a D three. Um, for Ow. nine points of damage. That's a lot. Yeah, that 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 smarted. Yeah, that's a good roll. And then the last one, it's basically goes with her wings in your direction. Um, basically, is an almighty crash of thunder when she does it. Um, okay. And you need to make a DC seventeen Constitution save. Yeah. Thunder wings. Succubi have thunderous stomp. Yeah, I fail. Oh, shit. Alrighty. I mean, shoot. You can no, say shit. It's okay, Jane. It. We don't mind. <laughs> um, Stand by it. Alright. <laughs> Basically, the ground triggers a thunderclap. All of the creatures within 15 feet of the of the creature must succeed in a D6. So, actually, so here's the thing. So, that will also now apply to Thelonious, because he is within 15 feet. <gasps> Ooh. But that does mean Thelonious does get a saving throw because he has been Come he has taken the damage. Yo. Okay. So uh, roll your DC seventeen con save first. A con save, perfect. Ah, seventeen. You made it. Oh. <laughs> yes! There you go. Yay! Um, but that means you don't save. take any damage, so you don't need to make a saving throw. Great. No. Yeah, you have to actually take damage to be Shit. able to get a resave, oh, and you don't sucks. take any. I thought, I thought he was. Do you want to stub your toe? Like, no. <laughs> didn't they technically attack him? I mean, it's not about attack; it's him. about damage. Huh. <sighs> Specifically, um, but he's aware of them doing this. Like they're threatening him. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> well, as I said, again, you have to go by this specifics. It's five e. Uh, if the suff if the target suffers any harm or receives a suicidal command. 
didn't receive any harm, and he didn't get a suicidal command. Physical harm or like emotional. Spiritual. Trust me, D and D does not go. It doesn't have a plan for working out um, your um, what do they call it? Um, emotional trauma and how much damage that should equal. It's physical yeah. damage. Um, so yeah. Uh, but the good news is you don't take a bunch of damage. Man. All right. Um, but, Emlyn, you do. Yep. And Let's do it. And it yeah. is... Bye, Emlyn. That much. 35. Ah. Yeah, Thelonious doesn't need to push me down because I fall. Right, so you're basically, th um, you come crashing to the ground with the thunder damage, mm -hmm. with an epic crash, which is kind of more like sonic damage than anything else, and mm -hmm. down you go. Okay. Um, that is that turn over. Emlyn, uh, so at this point, top of the round, you guys zoom in, give me initiative rolls. Okay. I'm I'm shocked we made it that far, Shaggett, to be honest. I am too. <laughs> I, I really am. <laughs> you guys did really well. How did that <laughs> All right, not well, go worse? Um, okay, so let's see. Satch, you're at the top with a 25, which is definitely for your, you guys' advantage. And Tolgar is at 13. All right. Um, so, no, 20. I'm at 20. 20. Uh, sorry, 20. Um, yep. So, Satch, you have the initiative, and that means you have advantage. Because you are going before they are acting, as far as you're concerned, in combat. Hmm. Good thing I have this arrow with this poison shit on it. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I'm gonna attempt to do some murdery to the one who, I believe this is the one that was, uh, oh, sorry, that isn't working like a mouse. There we go. I think it's the closest one there. This one is the one with the whip. Oh, that's the one with the whip. This one up here the one is the one with the um, hand scythe, and then the one in the middle was the one that had the bow. Okay. I guess... I but they are all very close to each other, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll start with the one with the whip, and then shoot the bow person, and then the one with the whip again, because I have that ability. Okay, so this one first, the one with the whip. Yes. And this arrow, arrow does have toys on it, right? Yes. It does have blood. Cool. Demonic blood. Okay. Let it loose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got lost in, sh lost in sheet. <laughs> um, would this have advantage or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's good. Uh, that's a hit for uh, 11 points. I'd like to apply sneak attack damage if I may. I'll be your mate. Okay. And she was the one that took the... She saved from the furball, but she got singed some. Is this, is this, is this particular character considerably surprised? How do you mean? Have I surprised them by appearing behind them and shooting yes. them in the with a demon? Oh, I cool. can it, so, yeah, because they, they, they <laughs> at the very least, were so fixated on what was going here. Woman over here, not so much, but these three, their backs are to you. They didn't know you were there. The only thing they knew is that your game plan, because of Thelonious's brain, was to dimension door up here. And this is a. Uh, they didn't know exactly where you were coming, um, and they reacted and immediately went in and attacked what appeared to be an immediate threat. So, um. Um. And I want this. That's better music for this. Okay. Okay, so if it's a crit, I get the one extra d8 from my bow, the three extra d6 from the sneak attack, which is 3d6, so that's 6d6. And then, and then you get the extra damage from because these are true demons. You also get another um, D eight from the demon blood. So that'd be two because it's crit. Yep. Okay. So 
Here they go. So figure out all your dice. <laughs> Lots of damage. Ooh. 48 points. Nice. That is a hell of a shot. Okay. Um. All right. Yep. So with all your advantages, you rear back, plug her right between the back of the wings at the nape of the neck. Just poof. And drops to the floor. She is dead. Which one is that? That's dead. the one that had the barbed whip. Okay. And then I'm gonna be shooting the next one over with the horde break. Hold on. Let me. Uh... Nice. Go, go. go. Right, she's down. Good job. One down. One suck you by. One suck you bye bye. And I guess Good I one. Have to pose the question again: Would the person <laughs> immediately next to them still be surprised? Yes. Have noticed? Yes. <laughs> um, because this all remember this is all. There's not technically a surprise round in 5e. It, it works on you just go ahead. You know, you anyone that beat you in initiative, you just ignore them and go. So, but it all the whole round would count as surprise. So I cannot um, apply the um, other damages to this, but I can double that. Yep. So that's 16 for her. Uh, I was going to roll the other d8. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, nice. nice. Oh, 16. 16. Nice. <laughs> yes. That worked out. And then my last attack would be um, on the same one. Okay. Again. Yep. It's nice when these little synergies all line up. It makes the character suddenly much better. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hit for Ooh. a further 10. Okay. And um, <sighs> still a crit. Um, still counts as surprise. Yeah. So there's that. Help out. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> Even uh, it definitely it definitely got the witch's attention. Okay. All right. Um, congratulations. That was you, Tolgar. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see... Kyla attacking this one. Yep. So you, yeah. Ky Kyla's dropped this, dropped this one, and just shot this one. Um, yeah. I. I. You can see. Yeah. Up, when you guys so. get up there, you can see Emlyn is laying on the ground, um, and yeah. Balonius is pretty much about okay. to be overwhelmed as you okay. guys show up. Awesome. Um, I'm all raged up, and all I'm... raged up, and no place to go. I'm going to um, rage further. Yeah. Can I even more rage? I am like be really charging angry. this one over here uh, with my magical sword. Okay. And uh, aiming at this, trying to slice the wings there off of it <laughs> to Ooh. kill it. Alrighty. So, so, go ahead. All right, both my attacks. Come get some. That. Uh, yep, you hit it twice. <sighs> off with the first wing. <sighs> off with the second wing. Yes. And you can finish it off with an off with the head. That one is now off also dead. Head. Yeah. Another succubi this one, I beats step the in. dust. I step on top of her to face the next one. And okay, <laughs> nice. The one that is yet to be hurt. And I'm underneath of it, but I'm on top of her. <laughs> yeah, that's what you like. It's your position. I'd like to be on top. Hey, it's D and D. That's right. right. You always want to be on top. There you go. All right, I put you on top. Thank you. Okie dokie. It is her turn now. Okay. Uh -oh. Um. Yeah. Seeing you all ah! huddled up in a nice little ball over here. Yeah, she's gonna fireball you again. Counter spell! <laughs> counter spell! Go for it. Get that it counter spell level in. Level five again? Sorry. Is are they casting a level five again? Um, it she is off. going to cast a. No, she's gonna save this at level four. Okay. Um. So okay. um, it is. 14 or higher. Okay, so 1d20 plus 3. Come on, you... Yeah! Oh. 
Very good. Okay, that's her action. With her move, she is tearing down the stairwell in the middle. <laughs> Peace out. She's decided that this isn't working very well. She doesn't like the odds. She's going down. Okay. Um, so, as she goes down, you basically can hear stone grinding on stone type of sound uh, initially. Okay. Um... Emlyn Sin, you are down on the ground. How far down are you? Uh, I have to make a saving throw. Okay, let's uh, get the first undeath saving throw. Ooh. And it's a, it's a win for you. That's a plus. I do get an action. You do, because you are technically um, not dead. <laughs> can... I mean, did that guy really move over, or did you just move him to... Uh, move no, I moved him just to get him out of the way. He's actually still right here. If you want to claw... I do. You can. Give me that four health. Uh, and you got it. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. I am alive, but I'm still going to stay on the ground because... Because you're a coward. Don't wanna, you don't want to die. You're playing dead like a possum. <laughs> Pretty much. It doesn't make total logical sense to just stand up. It doesn't, does it? It's oh, like, bro, knock me down okay. again. <laughs> this time she'll just be, oh, I forgot to push. <laughs> so yeah, basically, <laughs> my claw is I go on its feet and just rake a little bit. Yep, okay. Um, does that put you conscious? It does, yes. Oh, okay. So the death saves are off the table for you. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't um, a rich, I would have done Thelonious, actually. Thelonious! Yeah, I know you would have. Uh, <laughs> am I... So I'm, I'm out of that guy's attacking range, right? Um, this I one cannot move. melee you from there, no. Okay, perfect. Uh, I pretty much see that Tolgar probably has this thing under control. Um, so I'm... I am just going to move back here um, away okay. from him and cast Firebolt All right. uh, on him. So There's just this one guy left here. Go ahead. Bolt uh, away. Ugh. Um, Not the best roll. Right. The bolt on any of it. Flies out from your hand past the winged creature and through the open archway and fizzles against the blue shield in the back. Cool. Okay. Um, the succubi is going to do a disengage action and fly out the window or out of the. Oh. <sighs> okay. Um, so basically, she flies out the hole and then goes straight up, no doubt, to the ceiling. Um, but she will disappear out of view. I'm going to turn to Emlyn. Get up! Emlyn. Okay. All right. The grinding that you're now able to kind of pay more attention to, it appears that the stairwell is closing up, almost like if you can imagine all the steps are Ooh. rising up to meet the step above. Yeah. And filling in the hole. So basically, the center is there piece. There's still time to jump down, or is it already almost? Done? Um. Okay. This is how I'm going to describe it. You know that the stones are closing up in there. There is a gap. But you can't see down in the gap. So it's kind of a leap. Uh, if you jump in there, it's kind of a leap of faith. <laughs> um, you could be crushed to death by the stones. You may fall down into the room below and be there all by yourself. Um, you may land on the stones and there's not enough room to get through. So it's up to you. I don't want to be by myself. I'm one. Uh, get up. Are they gone? All right. So you're not going to do that. Oh, no. Okay, in what? that case, then, yeah. Eventually, it stops, and all you can see is, like, a line, a line circle in the middle where the stillwell would be, and okay. lines to indicate where the, st where the steps would drop if it was to be put back. Okay. I'm going to get up, and I look upright. But then again, I always... Yeah, he is a so. mess. Um... Like, half the flesh on his face is peeled back. You can see bits of his <laughs> jawbone sticking out. Some of the flesh on his hands and a forearm are gone. Um, I mean, literally, it was like a blast of sonic uh, sonic energy that just hit him and, like, sandblasted half his skin off. He looks probably as worse as he's ever looked. He's fucking Call me. Go. No, it's okay. I mean, I'm just going to go down again anyway. All right, we need to get down these stairs. 
I'm gonna just try to start like stepping on top of it to see if it like opens up. Um. Okay. It is incredibly solid stone. Polonius, is there a spell or something? Stone, move, move some stones. Sure. Um. Open sesame. I um. Polonius. <laughs> Did that work? Yeah. No. Um. You're getting Watch an overwhelming it. urge. Oh, no. To hurt Tolgar. Um, Wait, they're not both dead? Remember, one of them flew out and onto the roof. I thought two of them were dead. Okay. Two of them are dead. One of them that is dead had control. One of them is dead, never got to give you control. The one that is alive still has it. Okay, am I allowed to say, like, hey, I want to hurt you? Or am I just like, Bleh, I just go into a trance and do whatever they say? Um, it is how, how, how does that work? So basically, um, here's how it is. Because um, it counts as a charm, right? Yeah. So one humanoid, um, the charm target obeys the fiend's verbal or telepathic commands. Mm -hmm. If the target suffers harm or receives a suicidal command, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effects on... Um, ending the effects on its success. If the target successfully saves against the effect, the effect ends. The target is immune and is immune to the effects of this charm for the next 24 hours. The fiend can only have one target charmed at a time. If it charms another, the effects are of it previously end. So right, basically, okay. it is, as it says, um... The charmed target obeys the fiend's verbal or telepathic commands. So it is basically telling you, because it, it's like you want to do this. You want okay. to please it. Um, so, but because I don't want to be a complete asshole, that's why it basically told you to hurt Tolgar, get Tolgar. So I'm allowing you control of what you do to do it. But bearing in mind, you are trying to inflict serious bodily harm. Um, flicking him wouldn't count. <laughs> okay. Thelonious, can you uh, open up the stair? I have a better idea. That's what I sound like when I'm charmed. And I'm going to take my staff and just like hit him in the nose with it. <laughs> you want to hit Tolgar in the face with it. Okay. Yep. You want me to hurt him. That's a easy way to hurt someone just real quick. Just with my staff. All right. Go ahead. Make an attack roll on Tolkar. I don't even know how to do that with this character. <laughs> doesn't even know how to make a melee attack with his wizard. <laughs> what it is an attack roll? Um, basically, it right. is. Yeah, you've got um, strength and proficiency. D twenty. Proficiency. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's an attack roll? Where's my proficiency? This poor character's character. never thrown a punch oh in his life. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right, okay. I'm going to catch your hand and be like, what are you doing? Stop. I'm going to twist it a little bit. Uh, He has my hand? Okay. I mean, my hand's my oh. staff, so I... Yeah, so basically you go like that, and he's like, just grabs your hand. What are you I'm doing? I'm going to twist it down a little bit, so you're like, ah! You know what I mean? Yeah, God, all right. What are you doing? Right. I'm going to be... I'm not just going to be like, oh, then I blow on him. Um, I... I, I would... I would, uh, I would cast Firebolt. That's okay. my next full move. <laughs> I'm holding your hand, so if you're trying to like, use your hands, I'm going to like try to stop Well, you. you're holding a oh, hand, okay, right? Well... Are you catching... I mean, it depends on how he does it. So, I mean... You what are you doing, Tolgar? I grabbed your wrist, I twisted it, and if you're ah! going to start doing a spell, I'm going to grab your other wrist, and I'm going to stop <laughs> doing that. All right, what do you want me to do, Gore? Um, you can do whatever you want to do, up until you're told to do something else or um like physically right now you unless you have a way to hurt tolgar at this moment you can. i can kick him so i mean <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my little wizard boot <laughs> my little stab on just, his foot yeah kick him in the shin okay <laughs> yeah is that i would assume that's just a straight d20 roll <laughs> <laughs> um, just yeah, I mean, be, be pretty much the same as um, trying yeah. to hit him with the staff. It just isn't gonna hurt. Not much. proficient. Ha! All right, so with that, he Thanks attempts again. to stamp on your foot. <laughs> I'm gonna just at that point just pick him up by like this his scruff. Like, What's wrong with you? And I'm gonna look back at uh, Kyla and um, freaking Emlyn. Like, what's wrong with him? Why is he attacking me? Oh, you're uh, muted. muted. 
seeing that I'm... Gonna... Callum wants to shoot him. Callum wants to shoot him. <laughs> I'm just going to walk up to him and needing help anyway, just uh, give him a little uh, love smash. No, what are you doing? Help! Okay, uh, so you take eight points of necrotic damage, Thelonious Conch. Okay. Um, and you may make a saving throw. Oh, jeez. And what, what saving throw is it? Um, so basically, um, it is... Let's see. Con? Um, it, let me... No, no, it's um, no. DC 15 wisdom save. Wisdom yeah. saving throw. Oh, just make it please for the love of Pete. <laughs> The love of Pete! Oh, nope. boy. Okay. Uh, the good news is, Emlyn, you're healed four. The bad news is, Thelonious, you take eight points of necrotic damage. Great. Yep. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to say, what's wrong with him? Fix him. You see? They're secretly against you. Just go along with them right now. Just calm uh... down. Love them I... back into your good graces. Apologize. Tell them you're sorry. Tolga! <laughs> Tolga, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for kicking you in the shit. I'm sure it hurt tremendously. I apologize. Please put me Just down. Get us down the stairs into this, the bottom part of this tower. Go. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'll get you down the stairs. Can and I... then I'll be back in your good graces, yes? Can I do a knowledge check on Theo for acting so weird? Um... I will give you a knowledge arcana roll based on the based on him attacking Tolgar. I suddenly. mean, he's never attacked Tolgar yeah, before. So I would, and it's a really stupid thing to do. Um, so right. yes, I would allow you a knowledge arcana. Let's see how well you can do. Oh, not well enough. Okay, guys, please help me here. <laughs> Try it, man. Um, Tyler, any idea? It's definitely fishy and it's definitely strange, but you didn't, you haven't seen anything. Okay. Really happen to warrant anything. <laughs> yes, uh, Kyla, there must be a way of opening those stairs. Um, she was over there and she ran towards them and they started closing. So maybe there's a floor thing or whatever. A floor thing. Go find it. Like a trigger. <laughs> okay. Go find the floor thing. <laughs> I'm going to go and help Kyla search. <laughs> I'll take, I'll keep an eye on Thelonious. Yeah. Well, put me down, I'll help! No. <laughs> I'm gonna pick you back up, because I had put you down. <laughs> so... Okay. I, I guess I'm searching for... a thing to make a thing happen. <laughs> <laughs> so you're searching I'm... to see if there's any noticeable... Um, like a button. Yeah, or Big. something to... So, um, yeah. Um, so who is searching? For said thing, is this just the thing that Kyla's doing? Uh, I'm helping, so. So Kyla and Emily, okay. Um, alrighty then. Uh, you guys can both give me a perception check. Ooh. It's a pretty big area, so I'll allow you both a separate roll. Ugh. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Um. So Kyla, you do find something. Um, which is the good news. The bad news is that something clearly should have something in it. Um, so basically over here, kind of close to where she was standing, you find what appears to be kind of like a triangular hole in the floor. Um, the triangular hole is probably about an inch and a half across in each direction. And your guess is something probably fits in that hole that would be whatever it is that keeps that stairwell from being in place and odds are she snatched it out of you snatched it up and bolted down the stairs so she probably has whatever it is that you need to go in there what about so let's check the bodies then they might have one on them they might right you want to search the two dead succubi Speaking i of, won't i'm going to keep grab that you bow. hold on to theo it looked interesting so you're gonna hold, you're holding on to Theo still right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to grab that bow that was scattered across the floor. Take a look at it. Okay. Um, the bow itself, it's a very nice, intricate bow. Um, sinisterly carved. Um, give me a. Um. Give me a nature check. Okay. 
plus Not five right. magic damage. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Um. So examining it, even though it is kind of tarnished red, initially that threw you off. But on closer inspection, you realize this is made of bone. The bow is made of bone, and it is stained with blood. That's what's giving it the red. Uh, more sinisterly, it looks like it is like. So, so if you if you could imagine taking two femurs. So you got two femurs here and here. Now imagine everyone put a <laughs> kind of put um a clasp of like spine bones or whatever in the middle. Spine bones. Um, spine bones. What is it called? Uh, a vertebrae. There you go. A vertebrae in the middle. So you've got a you've got basically two vertebrae in the center, <laughs> nice. and then you've got two femurs. Um, and they seem to be somehow kind of forged together, but you're not entirely sure how. Um, but yet they are surprisingly pliable, unlike what real bones should be. So they've obviously had some kind of treatment to make them soft and pliable. Um, but um, effectively it is a longbow. And uh, it would kind of count as a... At the very least, probably like a master crafted longbow. Okay. I'm typing that in there. Okay. Um, with that, looking that over. Um, okay. So, yep, yeah, that's the bow. Yep. I'm going to check out what's going on with the, uh, the rest of these. these okay. Late so, she has a quiver on her back. Um,. Mm -hmm. The quiver itself is divided into two compartments. Uh, it has a main centerpiece, and then it has a smaller, semicircular, like crescent piece on the back. Um, there are 18 arrows in the main centerpiece. There is one arrow in the side piece, in the little separate point. Um, that arrow is definitely different than all the rest, and um, it is flighted. With what kind of looks like feathered, um, it's a different type of feather for sure. Okay. Um, do you have knowledge? Um, knowledge religion? Or knowledge no, arrow? Um, <laughs> no, 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 okay. What about arrow religion? Yeah, no. <laughs> Check that one. This that particular one? arrow is atheist. Um, <laughs> it's an plus, agnostic I arrow. I have a plus one. I have a plus one. Does that? Um, don't forget my plus one. Don't forget your plus one. Nice. <laughs> Should wear that shirt. Um, I mean, you, you can still roll it. It just you don't get the proficiency okay. bonus. If you roll really well, okay, not enough. Okay. Um. But um, but yeah. So there's one arrow that is different, but you can tell just by looking at the flight. All the others are kind of black, and this one is kind of white. Hmm. Was it like the arrow that they had notched earlier? Couldn't really tell. Not from the flight. You couldn't see the flight clearly. The you know. Well, Togar would know. He has one like lodged in his chest, doesn't he? <laughs> Let me no. see. It didn't actually. Do, it didn't Same kill one. him, so it didn't. It didn't hit him. It kind of. I mean, it hit him, it's but still it didn't, just in my chest. I, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> He's not walking around with an arrow sticking out of his yeah. chest. Yeah, that's how badass barbarians are. <laughs> it might be. There's probably one that's like eight days old sticking in his shoulder. <laughs> you just, <laughs> you ever change your arrows? <laughs> <laughs> Carla, I, I got it for you. <laughs> go okay. okay yeah so i'm i'm grabbing that up and uh patting her down okay um so that's basically other to... other than um being shall we say um lavishly built um mm. that's about all you're gonna find on her um one of them as i said has the barbed whip um which the barbs the give me a nature check <laughs> It's not very good, but here we go. Ooh, okay, yeah. yep. Oh. I want to keep glancing out the window to see if the other one's ever there. Okay, yeah, you They're are like holding on, holding on to Tolgar for dear life, uh, to um, Thonis for dear life, and 
Yeah, just looking for that okay. other one. Well, you know she's up there somewhere or out there somewhere. Do her wings get tired? <laughs> Not sitting on the roof, no. <laughs> I thought she was hovering up there. No, she flew up there, but... She's probably sitting on the roof. Hmm. I don't know, just like, just... We'll see. I'd right ask. <laughs> but quite honestly, no, she can probably fly considerably longer than a few minutes. Yeah, so. Just like little beads of sweat start dropping, like, oh... <laughs> Tired out of there. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all right. Um, so you found yeah. So you've got the the strange cat of nine tails um, okay. whip, and then you've also got the weird looking scythe. And guess what? Make a nature check. Okay. <laughs> oh, more spine bones. I bet. <laughs> spine bone. No, this is a toe bone. More spine bones. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. yeah this cool. is this is basically a sharpened clavicle. Um, <laughs> I love it. So yeah, these de- uh, and they are human. So these are basically humanoid bone crafted weapons, and then somehow engineered for durability with whatever demonic method these vile creatures may, you know, get under. You know, um, I kind of dig it. I'm gonna take the the one. Um, Oh, actually, no. That's that's. Let me let oh, me yeah. um, retcon that because she still has that and she's on the roof. So it's actually the yeah. um, the bow is still here and the oh, okay. um, the cat of nine tails. Yeah. The clavicle. The clavicle. The, cla- the clavicle hand side is not here. Mm. Uh, yeah. Do any of them have the thing to get open the the store the stairs? <laughs> no, there is no triangular Damn device. It. All right. Um. I have a bit of an idea. Um, okay. me, me too. What? I do too. Just be ready I to have ask, no ideas. Just be ready to ask some questions. I'm going to take my knife out, cut off the head of one of the uh, the uh, succubi, and, and just chuck it. Just chuck it. Oh, what is that chuck it where? Do? Like off Will or they give us a triangle thing by doing this? <laughs> In you like life. trying to throw it out so it goes down the tower onto the ground, or are you trying to just roll it across the floor? I'm trying to get it out the tower as far as I can. Uh, why? Pick a direction. <laughs> oh, I see why. Okay. Uh, bad direction. Okay. Um, yeah. So from your height vantage point, if you just you know grab it by the hair and hoof it out there, you'll be able to throw it all the way to the um, to, to the blue. Mm-hmm. It'll arc down and probably hit the blue barrier probably about 20 feet from the ground as it goes <laughs> and ricochets back, singed and burned. Kyla, I don't understand anything. I'm trying to get the attention of the other one. Yep. Cut off the other head and <laughs> do it again. Okay. <laughs> Thelonious, what is your Probably. plan? <laughs> What's that? You said you had an idea. What is it? Yeah, if you put me down, I'll show you. No. Just tell us. Please. Tell us. It's a, it is Use, such a, you oh, love talking. Use oh, it all. it is such a good plan. I couldn't possibly explain it from... Do you still have it like, over your head? I imagine you're just holding me straight up in the air. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't possibly explain from up here. If you put me down, I can show you the plan. Tell us the plan you like to talk. Honestly? I was just going to kick you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kind of squeeze him a little. So. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He's I'm... fragile. He's an old man. You might break him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I did. I just, ooh, told guy I want to kick you so hard right now. Well, What's your my... plan, Emlyn? Uh, have you ever seen Die Hard? <laughs> yeah, one of yeah. my favorite movies. <laughs> No, the, my, old Christmas uh, film? the old fantasy play it be. <laughs> performed by street performers everywhere. <laughs> he dieth <idea> hard. <laughs> is we get some ropes out and we tie them to this banister and we swing into that window with the ember glow. Isn't there a glass? You're gonna SWAT team in on the uh, enchanted. <laughs> well, that's that's why yeah. you would go first, Togar. So you let's do it. Good. But what if I'm the only one that makes it? You all die to your deaths. Die to your deaths. <laughs> die to your deaths. <laughs> yeah, that's a Togarism. Two horses each. <laughs> Here, here's, here's the problem. <laughs> Thelonious might try to kill you, Togar. Well, we oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, you would. <laughs> no, I would not! Melonius, if you keep this up, I will kill you. I'm not doing- I, I'm just- What am I- I can't- I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I'm a frail old man, I can't I'm just, you. Oh, well, how could I possibly kill someone? Isn't no. there, w- wasn't there a window? You said because the, <laughs> the light was hitting the window of the mm-hmm. stained glass, yeah. so we'd have to break the window. Okay. Yeah, I think Emily's plan is that you're going to swing down in and push yourself up and come... Break the window? <laughs> SWAT team style through the glass. Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is we might... All those fireball attempts. We'd be all together. Can we use different ropes and from different angles? Oh, well, if that's the problem with it. I was just thinking, what if it's like not glass at all, but a really nice solid chunk of amber or, you know, anything that's not just going to break. And then, you know, we have our big strong guy hanging down on a rope on the side of a tower that we have no other way of getting into. And um... what if it's hurricane proof windows that we can't break? It? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get a lot of hurricanes and Moradin's fucking hollow. <laughs> they might. So you know don't know. <laughs> you look at it. Maybe it's close to the coast. <laughs> you teleported here. You don't know. <laughs> what if it's double paned? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's an airplane window? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if it's, what if it's an airplane <laughs> window? <laughs> things are impenetrable. <laughs> they have to be, or else we get sucked right out. <laughs> just, just like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're right below us, probably hearing everything we're saying. Better than just operating the... Uh, the or they're audience. operating through Delonius, but of course we don't know that, but yes. They probably know everything we're thinking. Uh, well, at, at the very least, the succubi that's still alive does. <laughs> oh, the one up there. <laughs> well, how can we get the one up there to die? Break in the ceiling? You could ask nicely. Will you die, please? Ask it nicely. <laughs> Will you die, please? <laughs> oh, please, is come it- on. Is there any way up there to the roof where that one is? Um, no, no visible way up there, no. It's not designed for anybody normal to climb up there, but of course... Hey, if you're a succubi, what do you care? You have bat wings. I mean, if Thelonious could cast some spell that would push it, maybe? I could do that. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if nobody has any ideas, I'm going to swing in, so I'm going to go to that triangle and try to just punch it. Okay, it, it punches with little to no effect. <laughs> um, basically, you thump your fist onto the rock-hard granite, and that's about all that happens. Um, do these these dead creatures have tails? Yes, they do. They do they have those Yeah, are they the triangle-shaped devil ones? Yes, they do. Because I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cut one off and just try to jam it. Yeah, into no, the thing. Uh, no, no that, that's not that. That's not the way. No, <laughs> that, that would have been brilliant. No, <laughs> damn it. Well, it would make sense if there's a little thing and you use their tails to get down. You know, uh, it would if down. they were the one that constructed and built this thing. Maybe. Yeah. Fine. Maybe they had it installed. Yeah. Maybe it was a new, a new, a new addition. <laughs> They contacted okay. the Wizard Tower Corporation and said, okay, here is a list of our options we would like to add to our new tower. <laughs> How many ropes do we have? I have two. I have one. Anybody else? Uh, I have one as well. Can we trust him? No. <laughs> it's a rope! Well, what, what can I possibly do to a rope? You can cut it I and... why you're here. Why are you here, okay, you hear this little voice in your head go. <laughs> Why am I oh, here? That, you hear this little voice in your head go. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, cut the rope when they go down. That's excellent. I, Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> You're here because there's a lot of really nice stuff in that tower that you want, yeah? Yes. 
and people you wouldn't mind hurting and maiming? Absolutely not. You'll come down with me on my back like a baby. <laughs> In one of those papoose. <laughs> you gonna make... <laughs> Just one You're gonna be like mini me on Tolgar's back. That's as far as Tolgar trusts you right now. On a papoose. That's beautiful. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> We take four different windows. Whose idea? Are you guys gonna be able to break a window, or are you just gonna hit it and slam into it and fall? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> okay. Right. So we have to take one window. <laughs> yes, but we can't. If they cast a spell, we're screwed. Right. Uh, right by a window. That is assuming, of course, that that glow isn't just a whole bunch of fire on the backside. He <laughs> goes straight through into the furnace. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Like a bunch of lemmings. And you oh, see, yeah, man. poor Thunder Wint's in there. He spins around, he raises his hand and goes, watches you all fly into the furnace one by one. Goes, okay. That was easy. <laughs> this is, I got an idea. Tolgar, um, put Thelonious in your papoose. Make sure he can't break your rope. Do you Kinda have a papoose? Or are you going to make one? I got a tunic or something. I can form into a papoose. <laughs> It's stupid uh, enough that I actually want to allow it to happen. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you can make a papoose. Okay. You can you can basically get the leather. You can you can acquire the leather bra straps and everything <laughs> off of the succubi and their yeah. leather leather loins and all of that to build yourself a papoose. A papoose. Why not? Thank you. Yeah, uh, strap. <laughs> Let's allow back, that like, to okay. happen. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to picture ever. Honestly, <laughs> Christy Fanner. Um, just old man, like, Yoda-style strapped to the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, Theo, Theo, get in. All right, well, of course. Well, while that's happening, I'm going to pull Kylo away from the two, and quietly, I'm going to say, we're going to tie the two succubus corpses to another rope and throw it in from another ankle first. Well, then we go in. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to use my rope... And help Kyla tie the other two succubuses. Gotcha. And, and you can throw use it like, off the back. What's left of them? Yeah, you can use the stone framework of the arches because they're only about three foot wide. So you can use those to anchor your ropes to pretty pretty solidly. And then, yeah, and I'd be running the uh, bodies over. Yeah, Basically. but I I am gonna go in last. That makes sense. So I will use the succubuses to throw and then join you. All right. right. So the windows that you saw, there's one dead center above at the top above the stairs. So let me pop the uh, let me pop the pick up again. Okay. Popping a pick. Okay. So you guys are kind of up here in the center arch, the largest arch, right? That's kind of when you came in. And the amber glowing window is directly below you. Now, to the left and the right, they're not actually windows. Hmm. Mm. That's more like um, carving or whatever. But there are windows on the north, south, east, and west. So there's one single window on each of the central tower facings. Does that make sense? Okay. So, so I will, they're I not like caddy cornered like the archways at the top, um, okay. but there are four windows. So you, basically, you've got a window here. Here, here, and here. Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to use it opposite the group as they're entering. So I'm going to do this one over here. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna crash down through that window. Are well, I'm going to use the succubuses to crash down, and then follow through. Uh, yeah, like six just... seconds later. All right. Because I want, I want the succubuses to go first, then okay. the team, so, then myself. Explain. So, here's how I imagine what you're trying to do. Right? You would push yourselves off to push yourself away from the roof, slide down the rope, and then rappel in at the appropriate height. Right? Yes. Otherwise, all you're doing is dropping down and dangling in front of the window. <laughs> So the succubus is, that is what's going to happen with them. 
Because unless you can find a way to propel them out far enough to where they'll swing back in, they're not going to hit the window. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so... <laughs> this is going to be so horribly stupid. I mean, what the <laughs> <hell>? <laughs> Thank you! 19 we months of love! Are. I have a plan that's going to fail, but I think I have to do it. We can tell how far below the window would be, correct? Yes. Uh, well, what I was going to do is I was going to... if you, Unless you guys actually want to figure out a way to measure it, I would allow you a insight check to try to figure it out. I mean, we can just insight drop the check. rope down and wait for it to glow. Yeah, we'll dangle the rope down before... Uh, right, Kylo, that's a great idea. Okay, there you go. So, in that case, so, yes, you can measure it out exactly. Okay, so I am going to play dead, and I'm going to go with the succubuses in the first wave. Okay, um, so you and the two succubuses the, are going to be tied to the one rope? Not telling Theo, right? And then, no, I'm not telling Theo this at all. And then I'm going to jump to repel in and break through the window, hopefully, and just lay there with the corpses, kind of hoping they cover <laughs> me. And I'm going to be a dead guy, just there. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're, I, I get what you're saying. All right. Because yeah. I'm a corpse, so throw all the corpses, sure. and I'll be a corpse. Yeah, maybe and they'll think the whole thing was nothing more, yeah. bo- nothing more than a dead corpse distraction. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, so corpse. if that's where you're going, if that's where you're going to repel him, what about everybody else? <laughs> I'm in a papoose, so not so, much uh, I'm doing. Uh, are you going through the <laughs> front window? Side. Is that your I'm game plan, Talgar? Yeah, opposite side from for us. All right. So you guys are going. <laughs> You're what gonna if, be fighting that. We're gonna do those moves where I turn around and then it's your turn. You know what I mean? Oh yes! <laughs> back to back moves. Back to back moves. Yes. Okay. Hey, getting out of that's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> How long does it take to don Thelonious armor? The don Thelonious armor. Yeah, like don it, don it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically a turtle shell to her, like Ninja Turtle at this point. <laughs> Teenage oh, mutant, just magic well, you're basically just sitting in a caboose, right? So yeah, yeah. You're, that's you're just waste. Um, yeah, so I'm just like you're just sitting there like sitting this like in your caboose. <laughs> <laughs> there we go to go, Toga. I'm ready. I'm ready, Toga. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna tie it up um, around the um, archway right. and. Get ready to jump and get swing. ready to rumble. Yeah. All right. First, so I break through the glass, and then um, Kyla's going to climb down on the side that, uh, given that the corpses managed to break through the window, um, climb down on that side instead okay. of the side with Dolgar, as to hopefully get advantage. <laughs> Oh, nice. all the portals to different dimensions. Yes, or, or something worse. We all just roll in. Where are the other guys? Or you get electrocuted <laughs> oh, and die no! instantly. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? All right. <sighs> okay. Uh huh. Okay. I'm just looking at something real quick. Dead, dead. How dead. to calculate? Dead. <laughs> In case, all your players. Are. All right. Okay. <laughs> How much damage do you take while tumbling in a papoose strapped to the heaviest barbarian? Yeah. <laughs> <in Korea? sighs> right. Um. So. Let's go. So that's so that's the game plan. Now, are you all doing this at the same time, or is somebody going to wait and screw the others again? No, let's do it all at the same time. Well, mm. I mean, it's going to take me a little longer to climb down, I think. So the order is Emlyn's going to swing in and be dead. And then those two are going to swing down. Hopefully the distraction of the other side. will. So like down. within seconds off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, where, then, are you, and what, where are you climbing down? On the same side as Emlyn's swinging in. So you're going to climb down Emlyn's rope? Yeah. Okay. All right. All righty. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so you guys are getting ready to go. I am going to message... Snugs. Oh no. This <laughs> is gonna be so bad. Hey, what if I just don't read it, Gore? 
sorry. You can't make me read it. Now, I will allow you a saving throw against this. Because you know okay. that that potentially will be fatal to you. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so you Ooh. may make a saving throw Save first. Um, if Because, of course, you have your hands free and your mouth free. So you can yeah. cast the spell. I can um, cast instant death. Up. Uh, <laughs> so oh, um you succeed you son of a bitch <laughs> okay um this is definitely a thing where rng jesus is gonna have to come into play so you get another saving throw first of all because yep. this, this is, is so deemable enough for you to consider it suicide um under your current circumstances uh, DC 15 wisdom save uh, is that's required that's so hard that's so hard for me to make alright here we go you don't have inspiration either. Damn it. Nope. I already used it to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, she told him to put you to sleep as soon as you leapt off the building. Uh, oh so if it would have worked, you would have been like, <laughs> and you both would have just plummeted to your to a hundred feet down. Wow. Um, okay. But <sighs> the fear of God gets into your head as you realize. Wait a minute. That'll kill me too. Yeah. I can't, I can't survive this felonious And you manage to overcome her command and break through, um, break through the barrier so she does not have mental control over it. And that means you have broken it. She can't control you anymore for 24 now. hours. <laughs> um, you are stuck <laughs> in a papoose. What am I doing in this stupid thing? <laughs> um, but fortunately, yeah, so Tolgar, probably you hear him just... No, I won't do it! Or something like that from behind your back. <laughs> um, okay, so, Emlyn, you go crashing down. Yeah. So you're pushing uh, yourself yeah. off with the weight of the two succupi. Yeah. Um, and come careening down to the window below. Um, seconds after that, Tolgar, you're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. You both come flying in towards the glass. The um, as you start getting closer and closer and closer, you realize... It looks like it's made of amber. It's actually not glass at all. It's oh, like a yeah. sheet of amber, um, which is why it was glowing orange. Um, oh, is oh. a little mosquito in it? How hard is amber <laughs> compared to glass? I don't know. Um, they, can, they can get DNA um, out of it with a needle, so not that, not that hard. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's soft material, but it's resilient. That's right, right that's the thing. So when you come <laughs> kicking into it... Okay, okay. so we're going to make dice rolls um, to see if you can smash easily through the amber... Uh, but we're not going to do that this week. We're going to do that next week because this is the perfect place oh, to start. Oh, yeah. um, so there we go. Excellent cliffhanger, guys. I Hi there, I'm Gorbad. Welcome to the Orcs Nest. I'm the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll. And if you'd like to follow me personally, you can do so on Twitter at Gorbad. Check out thedmblog.com for all things Dungeon Master and Dungeons and Dragons related. And of course, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Gorbad. Also, guys, don't forget to keep up with all things How We Roll. Follow us on Twitter at How We Roll. Check out the website, www.howweroll.com, and make sure you follow us on YouTube as well. Cheers, guys. Hi, I'm the Satchmo. I speak for the trees. Thank you for watching How We Roll. If you want to see some more of me, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Satchmo. If not, I guess I'll just see you next episode. I love you. Take care. What's up, you guys? It's the Snuggler here, and I am back for my second How We Roll campaign. I've been given some guidelines. One is to not name the character that I'm playing. This course, probably going to kill my character at some point. And two is to keep this as short as possible. Jane is just so lazy. Oh. So with that being said, so happy to be on my second campaign for How We Roll. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at Maddie Sweet Tweets. And that's pretty much all I use. So check you there. If not, I'm always here playing for you guys. Shagget here. I play a character on How We Roll. I'm not going to tell you who I play because if they die, I'm going to have to redo it. I've already done it once, never again. Follow me on Twitter at Ineb underscore Convos, and I'll see you guys on How We Roll. Hi, Jane here. You may have seen me in such films as Rise of the Fallen or Lyra vs. Legend. Thanks for watching! You can follow me on Twitter at Jane on Twitch. That's with a zero, not a no. 
Anyway, I gotta go. The cats. Peace, suckers.